Hey, what's up everybody? All right, so today I'm, I need to work on a couple of things. So I'm basically gonna be installing, uh, these are two fire sticks. Uh, these are the 4K Max versions uh, of these uh, little fire sticks. So I'm gonna be updating um, two of my units uh, basically over there in my, in my mom's house. Uh, one of them, I have it as a, what is it? Um, as a guest bedroom and then one of them is actually in the garage so whenever I do a cookout or if I'm working on something I could just basically you know turn the TV on there the old units that I have uh, they're somewhat old I mean they, they don't have like you know the, the auto power on feature and plus these 4k maxes and even the 4k uh, version of it have been excellent for me so usually how I um, you know use these of course it's just you know either to to you know, watch Netflix, Hulu, Crunchyroll, but I also use these to actually stream the content that I have in my server. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how I configure these devices to do so. So nonetheless, let's go right ahead and get started. I got everything technically squared away. Um, the updates did take a while, but just basically just keep on going until you're here in the menu uh, screen. So the first thing I usually do, and um, I did notice that in this new version of, um, I, I guess it's a new, um, not really a new version, but the new update, the developer option is not available just by default, but I did find a way to, to go ahead and get that back. So you'll just have to go into settings, then go into my fire TV, go into about, and then you're gonna go ahead and click, I don't know if it's like five or six clicks that you need to click on the Fire TV Stick 4K Max. So let's just go ahead and do that. So after that, we're gonna go back and then now you can actually see developer options here. Right now, we really can't do anything whatsoever to enable it. So let's go ahead and download the rest of the things that we're gonna need. Back in the menu, we're just gonna go into the App Store, so. We'll just go here, App Store. And we're gonna do a search. We're gonna type in downloader. So, let's see. Oh, there it is, see? It already came up, so downloader. Uh, we're gonna click on that and we will install. Okay, so uh, once you have this downloader installed, I forgot that you need to go into the developer option and allow uh, the unknown application uh, source installation. So we're gonna go back to settings. My Fire TV and developer option, install unknown apps. Here we're gonna click on to turn this on. So there we go. Let's go back to downloader. And here, we're gonna type in Cody.tv. Okay, so here we're just gonna go up to the top right hand corner, click there. We're gonna scroll down all the way to download. And here we're gonna go into Android. And we're gonna install the ARM v7a 32-bit software. So if you do uh, try to install the ARM v8a 64-bit, in my experience, it, it usually always fails. So that's why, I, you know, for this tutorial, um, technically I'm just going for the 32-bit version of it. So let's go ahead and install. Okay, there we go. So here we're just gonna go right ahead and click on the install button. We'll go ahead and do its thing. There we go. So app installed, ready to launch. Here, I'm just gonna go right ahead and open it up. So let's open this up. Cody uh, requires access to your device medium files to function, allow, yes. Let's go ahead and allow that, that's fine. Okay, so once we're in Cody, now here's where the, where the fun starts. So I'm gonna go right ahead and add the source so let me go ahead and go down to video. We'll do files. We'll do add videos. And then here, we'll actually go into setting, or what is it? Um, go into browse. Then we'll do Windows 
Uh, actually, no. Actually, let me do add network location. Protocol, of course, it, it's already doing the Windows uh, network. So SMB Samba. Here in the server name, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in the IP address of the server. Of course, uh, this IP address might be different for you. So if you do have a server or an SMB server or a file server or anything whatsoever, uh, just make sure uh, you input the IP address here. Okay, so after that, I'm gonna go ahead and basically uh, go down to the username. So you'll be using your credentials. All right, so once you have your credentials uh, and everything technically populated, we're gonna click on OK. So now you see your server available right here. So at this point, we're just gonna click on OK. So here, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and technically take out the IP address of this um, for this entry. So I'm just gonna take that out. And we'll just do, we'll name it Media. We'll just do that. Here, we'll just click on OK. There we go. And click OK. At that point, this set content, uh, for me, I, I, don't, I don't really do a set content. I just hit OK. And now you do see that the media is, or your server is available here in Kodi. All right, so there we go. So as soon as you click on the server, you can actually technically see all your shares. For this one, this is just basically my, uh, my YouTube uh, channels, uh, just, you know, folder so you, you're able to see uh, of course all of my videos and all that good stuff so there we go so hopefully uh you know you enjoyed this uh, little tutorial all right everybody well that is the end of this video uh i really do hope you enjoyed this little tutorial uh one thing i did want to note is that even though i only talked about the 4k max as well as just the 4k um you can technically do this on any fire stick so if you have, let's just say a, a light uh, fire stick or even just a regular one, you could go ahead and do all these steps on them. So I hope this video gave you uh, some ideas on maybe it's like, hey, you set up a server at home or, you know, something small, you know, at first. And then you're like, hey, well, maybe I would want to, you know, have something available for my living room, for my bedroom, for my kids, you know, um, rooms. As well as, you know, hey, maybe, you know, you have a TV in the garage, um, you know, hey, you could go right ahead and do that as well. But anyways, uh, like always, uh, thank you very much for watching the video. I appreciate you. And like always, we will catch you on the next one.